This Christmas Eve, many communities throughout Maine are still feeling the impacts of last Monday's storm. While floodwaters have receded and the lights have come back on for many, severe damage to roadways remains a stubborn obstacle to a return to normal. News Center Maine's Donovan Lynch reports. This Christmas Eve, towns are detached by the scars of swelling rivers. We really are stuck. We're on our own little island over here. In western Maine, a small wooden footbridge built by neighbors serves as the only direct link between Rangeley and Eustis after washouts split this section of State Route 16 in two. Now, for locals like Jennifer Kent, the act of going to the supermarket has turned into a game of logistical checkers. I drive to the other side of the bridge and then uh -huh. walk over and hop in the, my son's car and go to town to get our groceries. Kent is not alone in this arrangement. Parking lots have popped up around this rural roadblock with families leaving one car on either end a necessity for some on a tight schedule. Unless you have two vehicles, there's no way of getting back and forth to work. So we had to drive one around the hour-ish, hour and a half. Michael Dayus manages a motel on one side of the footbridge and lives on the other. For him, the inconvenience has changed his ability to be on the job every day. I'm a little more selective on days I go to work. Fortunately, I can do that. Most people can't. But as commutes to work and school are upended with the pavement, many crossing the footbridge are keeping a good-humored main spirit about the circumstances. All in all, we're safe, we're happy, we're pioneering. <laughs> and the kindness of strangers for building a way through this impasse is not lost on the travelers above. Small towns are amazing and how everyone just kind of rallies together. For now, the Maine Department of Transportation says it could take up to six weeks to repair the road. In Franklin County, Donovan Lynch, News Center, Maine.